Have you ever wondered what was inside of your electrical box? What's behind those light switches or electrical plugs? Well, hopefully, by the time you're done watching this video, you will have a better idea. Now, the black arrow is pointing to a blue electrical box. This is usually referred to as a double gang electrical box. It can be used for two switches or two electrical outlet plugs. Now in this picture the black arrow is pointing to the ground wires. Each ground wire that comes into or out of this electrical box needs to be connected together to provide your house with a good grounding system. Now in the next picture we are looking at the neutral wire. Now the same thing with the ground. Every ground wire needs to be connected and every neutral wire will need to be connected in the box. So remember that ground wires connect together. They are bare copper. Neutral wires are white. They will connect together. Now in this picture we are looking at the hot wire and by the way that is a twist connector the red um, thing that's at the end of the wires you simply twist them on and twist them off but make sure the electricity is off before you ever even think about messing with these things um, this is going to be the light switch so the wire you're looking at there is going to be for is going to connect to one of the light switches. There will need to be another one installed later to um, connect to the second light switch. So this one here will be hot. Trust me. Now the other black wire you see here is going to connect to the light fixture itself. So Remember that not all black wires are going to connect together and they should be marked thoroughly if you are remodeling or doing any type of electrical. Trust me, that is not a pretty picture when they're not marked properly. The red wire, of course, is actually going to connect to the fan, um, to the fan part of the fan light. We have, we're going to have a, a fan in the ceiling, a ceiling fan, <coughs> and it's going to um, have a separate switch for the fan. One switch for the fan, one switch for the fan for the light that's attached to the fan. So that covers all the wires in your electrical box. If there are any in there that are missing, we'd better find them and see what the heck they go to. Okay, just kidding. So I hope you got a better idea about some of the wires that are inside of your electrical boxes.